All right, great teamwork, everyone. Jarvis, we're only halfway. What the hell was that? What hit me? I'm just a mother trucking transforming robot who takes people's faces. I'm Optimus Prime. And don't you forget it. Need a figure to die cast for? Get your Hot Toys Iron Man 3 Mark 42 die cast 1 6 scale figure at sideshowcollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 42 Armor Diecast Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure. I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending out this to review for you guys. You can buy this right now. Link is in the description. Like the War Machine and Iron Patriot, you get this cool picture of the Mark 42 and it has this cool like lighting things where the packaging looks like it's like three dimensional. Very cool. It says Iron Man 3 on the top right there. And I like how the repulsor and eyes are glowing. Um, as well as says MMS 19 seven D O two Mark forty two one six scale collectible figure. Side here continues the front of the packaging with Iron Man's repulsor says Mark forty two and he has his leg right there as well as the other side continues that same picture with saying Mark forty two. Top of the box says Mark forty two MMS one nine seven while the bottom is just plain red. The back of the box says Iron Man three while it has all the credits of all the people that made this die to die for figure. It also has a warning label. Warning you don't want to choke on this figure you could die cast for your life. And you open it just like the War Machine Iron Patriot by lifting up this part right here and then taking out the bottom. You can see it's made of that very hard foam material and it says the Mark 42. It's completely foam on both sides on the top as well as has this plastic tray which has his display base and other accessories. Then when you remove this foam insert and be very careful when you do, you see the Mark 42 in his foam insert with all his accessories. Let's see if this armor is a heavy hitter or just plain heavy. And here we got the Hot Toys Mark 42 Diecast Movie Masterpiece 1-6 scale collectible figure. This figure is to die for. Let's take a closer look at it. This guy is beautiful. Hot Toys have really outdone themselves in creating just an amazing piece. You can see in the head sculpt, this armor is just beautiful. This is the clean helmet we get. The beautiful red and gold and even the silver bits right here. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Arc reactor piece, which I'll show here uh, more in a second. But yeah, even like the silver bits underneath the shoulder and yeah, just all around, just like the torso area. I just love the paint. On here and like I said it's a mixture of die cast and plastic I really love that silver paint right there it is just beautiful and one feature I can show on the back here he does have the air flaps that Iron Man figures are known for you just lift it up here beautiful silver under there it's just gorgeous I swear and then if you lean in there you can see uh, not, nothing really underneath the flaps themselves just kind of gray plastic but it's okay and it's still really beautiful man just that back right there is just amazing. I love this ab or back of the ab area. I guess the spinal area just so freaking awesome. And yeah, just those abs, I don't know, just something about that it just looks so sweet. One thing that's cool, I didn't like that the thumb and index finger are gold, but for some reason it's just cool. Leg armor just looks amazing too. Just, I don't know, I just like how the lines are kind of outlined. Uh, just really cool how they did that. Like, this figure just really makes me appreciate the armor more than even when I saw in the movie. I thought it was cool in the movie. I didn't think it was like the greatest armor ever. But after having this figure, I'm just like, this armor is freaking awesome. And yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I don't know. I'm excited for the Mark 43 or whatever it's called in Avengers because it's kind of like this armor, but more red. And I'm a big fan of red. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you can see here the silver bits in his feet. This look cool. I mean,. Yeah, just, just such a beautiful paint job. I absolutely love this. Now for articulation, I'm loving what Hot Toys is doing with their new articulation, especially for these die cast figures. The head is on two joints. You can go up that much, but yeah, it, fall, it can come off the ball joint. Uh, but you know, you can't really, really do flying poses because this is a pretty heavy figure. But it can fully rotate and pivot on the back and it has a neck pivot that can go a little bit more and back. The shoulder pieces are have two points of armor. You can kind of take these off. Well, you can't take these off here, which I'll show here in a second. Now here's the way it works. So it can go in and out that much, and but you can actually 
pull it out a little bit and, and this is the thing people have had reports of this breaking so here let me show you how to do this while breaking it so hold it from this piece right here and then you can rotate this 360 degrees without worrying about breakage it's at least on mine i've been playing around with it a lot and i have no issues but i would still say be careful with it so you can't go in and out fully rotated it does also rotate at the bicep you got to be careful with it. So like I said, like hold it here, then rotate it at the bicep right there. So there you go. And it does bend over 90 degrees, probably like 110 degrees right there at the elbow, uh, which is great. It does fully rotate at the wrist as well as going out. It does have the finger articulation, two points at the thumb and three points at each individual finger to do a fist, repulsor blast, or give the bird. And that's really freaking awesome. Now, he does have upper out crunch, forward and back, pivot side to side, it can um, uh, move left and right. Uh, I wouldn't suggest fully rotating. Hold it right here, then you can actually pull up this out section a little bit more to give like a nice, like more out crunch and rotation. And yeah, it gives it a really nice, like, you know, brings the motion even more so. So that's really cool on Hot Toys part. Now the legs can only go forward and back that much when and in and out like that, but uh, they are meant to go more. Well, first off, these little parts right here in the waist, you pull them up so you can get more leg articulation. So in the instructions, you press this little bud button, suppress it, and then it'll release his legs even more. So now you put the legs fully forward and fully back. You can do in and out poses more so. You Yeah, you can pretty much like do the splits if you kind of do this in a way but yeah you can and you can fully rotate the upper part leg then at two points at the knee you actually pull the ankle forward down a little bit so you can push it ankle pivot forward and back you have these little joints that go in and out and this part go back he does have ankle pivot side to side and he has toe articulation not only do you get this cool little screwdriver you get 12 of those little watch batteries three for the head three for the chest and three for each repulsor hand uh, it's a little bit of a pain to unscrew and put it on there, but I know a lot of collectors appreciate that because some people don't care about the live features or want to make sure it doesn't leak out in, over time if they don't take out the battery. So it's cool on Hot Toys part. I just kind of prefer it if the batteries were installed, but that's just me. You have to actually take off the uh, faceplate, which is magnets here. And by the way, really cool detail on there. And then the way you have to do this in the instructions, you actually kind of have to semi squeeze it out on both sides, put your nails in there. And then you can see here, and yeah, the magnet kind of detached there. There's a little switch right there that you actually turn on. Uh, it's cool that, you know, Hot Toys, you know, protects it like this, but I wish the switch was more easier to get to without having to take off two di uh, different parts of the helmet. But once you have it on, it looks freaking sweet. The chest and the uh, repulsor switches are really easy. The chest one is on the back, and then each of the repulsor ones are on the bicep area, so you just switch them on. All the lights are pretty bright, but you can see how freaking bright they are in complete darkness. I mean, just, I love how the eyes shine in the helmet and freaking the repulsor light is so freaking bright. It looks like, oh. you get a ton of accessories with your Mark 42. You get this detailed instruction manual, how to do every little thing you can think of with this figure, how to put the batteries on here, how to interchange all the interchangeable pieces uh, and all the, uh, how to do the articulation and stuff. So they have nice detail plus, there's this extra thing, a little cautious warning to let you know about rotating the waist and the arms and making sure not to break your figure. You get this clear little tool part. This helps with removing some pieces for your interchangeable parts. Besides the articulated hands, which are still my favorite, you get a pair of fists that came uh, on the figure. And then you get these repulsor blast hands. These are angled. You also get these wrist guards that are angled that work with uh, the repulsor blast. So that way you can get the more uh, accurate repulsor blast without these parts getting in the way. You get interchangeable missile launching forearm armor just for the right hand. There's not one for the left. Kind of like the whole thing with the uh, Iron Patriot War Machine. You only get one. But so it's really cool. The uh, little missile that's in here. And the way this works, it comes in two pieces. You actually remove these bits, which is so easy. It's held together with a magnet. So just be careful when removing it, of course. But yeah, it comes off pretty easily. And then you just take your forearm pieces you just simply put them on. You can see how the magnet makes it really easy. And I really like that Hot Toys decided to use magnets because those are always the best. You just have to make sure you line it up, of course. And then once it's all lined up properly, you can see your mark 
uh, 42 is ready to shoot his tank missile. You get interchangeable forearm battle damage. You can see this battle damage is really amazing. Same thing held together with magnets, so you just remove the bits right here. That's uh, when it has the right battle damage armor. You also have one for the left. Get not only the battle damage pieces for each uh, wrist guard, you have one here that's just more for the standard uh, poses, and then you got one that has more out for the repulsor blast. So it's cool that Hot Toys got two sets, so if you want to do repulsor blast and the battle damage section. So you just remove the hand and the piece to put in the forearm battle damage. And of course you want to do the same for your left arm. The left forearm, which looks freaking awesome. I really love the detail of all the bow damage on here. It just looks so cool. You also get this bow damage chest plate, which looks really awesome. I love the damage on there. So you would remove the regular chest plate right here. You just take your little clear tool to get underneath this part to remove it. Amazing detail that is under there. Just all the cool circuitry, armor bits, very awesome. You just place the battle damage one underneath here. Looking awesome. Only for the right uh, bicep armor you get this battle damage uh, bicep piece. You just simply remove this part right here. Then you just insert this onto the tab right here. There you're seeing your Iron Man Mark 42 is really becoming bow damage. Then you get these bow damage shoulder pieces which are really easy to put on here. You just simply remove uh, each of these shoulder pieces right here. And these are actually uh, die cast by the way. Uh, but these ones are plastic and then once you put them on here they're really easy to get on. You can see all the bow damage detail on there. Both sides are different and both look so freaking cool. And last for bow damage pieces you get a bow damage Mark 42 helmet. Now what makes this Mark 42 helmet different is that it also has a Tony Stark face. Really amazing likeness to Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark and even has you know the blood that is on his face like how it was in the movie. Very amazing detail on there. And you can actually uh, use this with the light up helmet. You just take off this mask. The only difference is, is that when you're using the clean helmet with the Tony Stark head, you'll have these dents on the side here, and then vice versa, you'll have the clean helmet with the battle damage faceplate, but it's just a little uh, trade-off you have to do. Fully battle damage version of the Mark 42. Definitely the battle damage pieces make it look like an almost completely different figure. Just of course the bottom part is completely still clean looking. And then of course like this part's clean, but besides that, uh, it, the battle damage interchangeability really works really really good. For a person that wants it to go between clean and battle damage look, it works really well. Last but not least, you get this line up display base. It says Iron Man 3 Mark 42 here. It replicates like the, you know, Hall of Armor uh, bottom part. It has this metal um, cradle which is adjustable with this uh, part right here. It does take three AAA batteries for the light up feature. You just install them right in here and you have the on and off switch which is nice and bright especially when the lights turned off. You can see how bright that the display base is. Looks really cool especially with the figure in the dark. Stop! What is it dude? You got the die cast but I got the touch. I got the power pose. Well can you do this power pose? Hey look! You found Whiplash's bird! Size comparison time. So here you can see the die cast Mark 42 is the same size as its uh, power pose counterpart. He is a little bit taller than the Golden Age Captain America from the Captain America the Winter Soldier. And he is uh, twice the size of his Marvel Legends counterpart. And uh, he is a little bigger than me. Now once again Hot Toys has outdone themselves. Of all the different figures we've been getting from the Iron Man 3 line, this is the one to have. There's so much fun factor with this guy. The fact that he has interchangeability with his uh, bow damage parts and his clean parts. The fact that he has a great lineup features, amazing articulation, the die cast and paint apps and sculpt are just phenomenal. And I love that you have interchangeable head sculpts with the Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. likeness and a lineup base. This figure is absolutely incredible. Now the only thing is, this is $309.99 at Site2 Collectibles Light and Lincoln's inscription. I know that's a lot, but considering this is a lot of die casts in there and everything you're getting, it is well worth it. If you have the War Machine and the Iron Patriot and you know what to expect, if you pass on the Power Pose one for this one, it's well worth the wait because not only do you get the articulation, you get just so much more value with the fact that you can do a bow damage version and just everything about this. I absolutely love. Now, the only thing I would say, I wish that the lineup feature in the helmet was a little bit easier to get to. And But besides that, I have no other real gripes. So just be careful when posing it. And I'm super happy with 
this figure. I highly recommend it. Thank you to Sideshow Collectibles for sending me out this to review. Make sure you to buy this figure right now. Link is in the description. You can check me out at SeanXLong.com. Also check out MarvelousNews.com. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. I'm Sean Long. Mary live long and love life. And I want an Iron Man suit. I'm going to try my Jedi mind trick powers. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, I did it! I am iNerd Man! Call this blow up Mark 42. Tony, please, please, no! I gave Iron Man 3 a 5 out of 5! You give everything a 5 out of 5, except the last airband out, that was crap. Hey, radical, totally tubular, dude, wicked, hellacious. I always like, Booyakasha! Booyakasha! It's all about Cowabunga! Cowabunga.